Hello everybody, my name is Xander Rice. Welcome back to Spooky Month, the only time of the year where we post spooky clips and frightening flicks all month long. And today we have another video for you guys. Well, let's just get right into it. I have here a box of hammer cards, series one. Just look at that box right there. Now, inside the box, you get a couple of things. You get three autographed cards, 54 cards per set, two hot chase cards. And if you guys don't know what Hammer Films is, they were a British film company from way, way back in the day. And they made pretty much exclusively horror pictures. Their main stars being Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing, and a whole slew of other British character actors. And this is a trading card set that came out not too long ago, I believe. It's quite expensive, so uh, one thing that you can get in here is a cut signature of Mr. Christopher Lee's uh, autograph. Uh, but uh, that's very unlikely. If you guys have been following the channel for a little while, you guys know that I am not the greatest when it comes to opening cards. It, I tend to have very, very bad luck, and I don't think I've opened really anything great uh, mystery box trading card wise anything mystery anything that is sealed inside a box I don't really tend to have good luck with so will my luck change today I sure hope so it's been a very good day I just got wrapped up filming another spooky month video and uh, yeah just come back every once in a while and throw me a new video up let's get down to this box of cards though I'm very excited to see what is inside. I've had this close for quite a while actually. Bought it down at the Frank and Sons in the City of Industry. Is it in the City of Industry anymore? I don't quite remember. But anyways, Frank and Sons. Let's check it out. All right, we have our box right here. Let's get down to opening this. Got a seal up on here. Not sure if this is the best way to go about opening it. Okay, maybe I'll, hold on. We got our trusty blade here. Uh, ooh, look at that. Smooth as butter. Open right up there. Um, now, Hammer has a lot of films out there. And I mean a lot. Wait, are these the autographs up here? Is this, is this the signed stuff? There's a few cards up at the top. I don't know what that is. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so Hammer has a lot of films. And uh, I might not know every single one, to be honest. What the heck was that? I think that was my phone. I am going to check on it later. I'm afraid it is now cracked. It just slid off the table over there. Anyways, that's spooky month for ya. Um, okay, so we have a pack of cards. Oh wait, is this actually just gonna be all from these three films? Or is it all of Hammer? I don't really know. I didn't really research this set too much. I've seen all these three on the cover here, that's for sure. Those are kind of the, the must-watches, you know, of Hammer. And I previously said, like, Hammer was a, was a horror uh, company from way back in the day. But to be honest, I think they're still around. I think they are. I'm going to have to look into that. Let me see here closer. We have a very nice photo of Mr. Christopher Lee there as the mummy. Peter Cushing. Christopher Lee, this was a very spooky one. The Mummy, The Mummy. Yeah, I think these are just from this film. Let's see what it says on the back here. Oh, snap, they got more photos on the back here. They got another one there. They don't really explain anything about the film. It's just, let us just look at the photos. And I kind of like that. Just let us, we're gonna, I think these might be the autographs. We're gonna go over there. I don't know what that case is. There's. Something inside a sleeve. I'm very interested. Uh, cards. More cards. Look at that handsome lad there. Peter Cushing. Oh my gosh. There he is with a jungle hat. There is... Well, that's not Peter Cushing, but there's a, a guy. There is Christopher Lee in The Mummy. I like how Christopher Lee was mostly just the monsters. Like, he's literally the mon... That's just Christopher Lee right there as all three monsters. And Peter Cushing was mostly played the guy that tried to, you know, stop him. Dr. Van Helsing and all that. Oh my gosh, I'll have to go back and rewatch this one, The Mummy. I haven't seen that one in a long, long time. That might have been one of the first Hammer films I watched, actually. Oh my gosh, they're ripping his 
they got something going on with his tooth in there. I don't quite remember that one. Yeah, I think I'd have, I remember this one the least amount. The Mummy, yes. Oh, we're going on a Dracula. I remember this one the most. This is the death scene. Sorry, spoilers. Spoilers for these movies that came out 50 years ago. Spoilers alert, guys. Uh, death is everywhere. I think we're going... Yeah, I think these films are in reverse. Uh, or the cards are. But uh, anyways... Oh, there he is right there. He's evil with his red eyes. Gonna go check on him in his little tomb. Oh no, she's been turned into one. Uh, this is Michael Guff. Michael Go or Michael Guff? He was Alfred in the Batman films. Very, very nice. Van Helsing right there. The Dracula films are quite legendary. My favorite of the bunch might have to be Brides, though. Brides of Dracula really buttered my popcorn, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's just honestly just amazing. It's fantastic. Uh, here we go. Dra oh, this is, I think, one of, if not the first shot of Dracula in the film. He's just standing up there mysteriously. Uh, wow, what a nice... Uh, thing. And that was Dracula, everybody. My favorite hand... Well, actually, I just said Rise of Dracula was my favorite, so this can't be my favorite. My second favorite Hammer film. The Gorgon is really good. Ah, oh, gosh, what else has Hammer done? There was this one where Christopher Lee was at this house and he was attending to this old lady. Anyways, The Curse of Frankenstein. This is also a film that I haven't seen in quite a long time. But I have seen it. I've seen all of these. I just wish I remembered more of them. My gosh. I've just been watching a lot of movies lately. I'm going up to the Clerks 3 convenience store with Kevin Smith in a few days. So I've been kind of re-watching all the old Clerks movies. I watched Clerks. I watched Tusk and Yoga Hosers for the first time. And despite what people say, I really like those movies. There he is. He's working on the monster. The monster, as we call it. Uh, Frankenstein is just... That's Dr. Fra that's Frankenstein right there. That's the monster. You see now? You see? You see, folks? But anyway, it doesn't matter. The monster again. She's looking... What's on the back? Oh, snap. Almost looks like a behind-the-scenes still. Oh, wait, is it? Are these behind the scenes stills? Oh my gosh, they actually might be. Holy moly, we missed all that. Wow, that's really cool. So there's behind the scenes photos on the back in black and white for most of them, I would assume. Yeah. Yeah, it's Curse of Frankenstein. So I was right. We have saved the best for the last. The autograph section, three autographs. Uh, 54 chase card set. I don't know what to do here. Do I open the one that's in the package? Or do I... I don't know. We're just gonna go with this card right here. What's what's behind here? We got Carol Marsh as Lucy Holmwood. Hammer. Dracula. Yes, I remember her. She was, uh, she was kind of like the daughter who got bitten and everybody was like, how did she die? And everyone was like super confused. Um, I remember that. She's very cool. So the autographs are in here. We got 10 seconds to hell. This is kind of like a green, groovy little uh, flashy card here. Oh, these cards were made in 2021, so only last year. And I got them a few months ago. Uh, all right, okay. We are now have the autographs. Uh, oh, inside this packet, you will find either three hand-signed autograph cards or two autograph cards and either a cut-proof metallic silver or gold auto or real art sketch card. All content is guaranteed to be generally signed by the actor and or original sketch. Oh. Hmm. So we either get... so. Without a doubt, we definitely do get three autographs. One of them could be signed by the artist, but we definitely get three in here. Uh, three different cards. I'm hoping it's a... It's a... I don't know. I mean, of course, we hope that it's Christopher Lee, but uh, that's just... 
that's out of the question. That is out of the question. So, anyways, we're gonna. I'm opening this pack ever so slightly. This is an expensive box. God dang it! Living up here in LA, pretty much by my lonesome is not uh, not a cheap thing to do. Um, what? Okay. These are not coming out. I'm gonna have to peel a little harder. Okay, okay. We have Peggy Eaton. The Devil Rides Out. Okay, so the autographs are from other films. Gotcha. That's interesting. Peggy Eaton. We have Ronnie Dowsett in The Witches. The Witches. I'm trying to remember if I've seen that one. And last but not least, we have an artist sketch card. Wow, actually, that is freaking really cool there. Holy moly, artist sketch card. Yes, you have a very fine, very light hand drawn one. Wow, 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 I really like that down there. Well, folks, that is the hammer set. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I've never said that before, I don't think. But let me know what your favorite Hammer film is. And don't forget, we are posting spooky clips and frightening flicks all month long. And uh, so that means there's going to be another video out tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day for the entire month. All ending with our Z Rice Films Halloween special, which is a, just an annual celebration of the entire month. So, should be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next spooky video. My name is Anne Rice. Thank you. Goodbye. Subscribe. God bless. God bless. Amen. Amen. Amen.